Good morning, Harrison Central. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. with the morning news. Congratulations to the Cost Crunchy team on beating Lindsley and Weirton last night. The Huskies were led by Logan Laney and Jasmine Arnold, who both finished in first place. Attention all marching band and select choir members who are planning on going on the Disney trip in February. Due to circumstances related to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have decided to postpone the trip until next year. Senior students who have made payments towards their trip will receive a full refund. For the rest of the members going, you may continue to make payments as you are able. More information will be coming soon. It's time for Academic Challenge. Last year we had an amazing year and would like to continue it this year. If you are in grades 9 through 12 and enjoy Jeopardy or Trivial Pursuit, Academic Challenge is for you. Please join our Google Classroom for more information. The code is 523QTT3. Now let's head to Maz for a video over their service learning project. The seniors currently in service learning are looking for donations of a yard by yard and a half no-pill fleece for community service projects. They will be using this fabric to make tie blankets that will be donated around Christmas time to the Meadows and Caddis as well as Akron Children's Hospital. Donations will be accepted anytime now through November 1st. Any donations can be dropped off in Ms. McIntosh's room. If you have any questions regarding the Akron Children's Hospital donations, please see Audrey Corder. If you have any questions regarding the Meadows donations, please see Lainey Sedgmer. Thank you. Good morning. We're going to see a wonderful day here in Harrison County. Great weather, high of 66, low of 41. The sun is shining here in the morning, but do not let that fool you. The clouds will set in around here with a chance of rain later this evening when you go to sleep, when you should go to sleep. Now let's head back to Skylar for today's lunch and birthdays. Good morning. For, there are no birthdays for today. Today we'll be having pizza and a side salad. Hi, I'm Caleb, and today I'm here with the school nurse, Holly. Holly, can you tell us the importance about getting the flu shot? Um, actually, it's very important, especially this year. The uh, CDC is now, ha they have some concerns of what we call uh, a twindemic, and that is the combination of the flu and COVID-19. While getting the flu shot uh, does not stop the risk of COVID-19, it actually will uh, prevent the flu, which, and then in turn will help others. What ages can receive the flu shot? Uh, the flu shot can be given from infants all the way up to uh, your geriatrics, which are your elderly. Okay. And where can students go to receive the flu shot? You can go to your local pharmacy, uh, your physician, they give them, and there are even flu clinics. Okay. Thank you. Now let's head back to the news. There will be a meeting for any student interested in bowling with Coach Parkinson today at 1.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. West Virginia Northern Ohio University will be doing a virtual visit on October 20th from 2.20 to 2.40. If you wish to participate, please fill out the Google form on Google Classroom. Please contact Mr. Richards with any questions. The volleyball team is away at Shenandoah, and boys soccer is at Tuskegee Valley. Good luck to both teams. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Have a great day.